my channel, I am Ensign of Destiny. Please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to tap the notification button for more videos. In these tutorials, we are going to look at WASI 2020 NODEC General Mathematics Paper 2, Question 3A. Now let us look at this task question and then find the solution to it. Now, if you look at the question, you see that in the diagram, angle BAC equal to 90 degrees and angle AXY equal to angle CBY. Find I, the length of side X. C and I I angle C B A. Why don't you pause the video and give the question a try? After that, we leave your answer at the comment section. Now, let's see how we find the solution to this wasi pass question. The first thing that we should look at is we have 90 degrees here, so it means that. We have a right angled triangle. So here, our Sokatwa will work for us. And then, if even the Sokatwa will all work, it will work because we have 20 degrees there. And then, Pythagoras theorem will also help us. So you think of the Pythagoras theorem and you think of the Sokatwa if you have a right angled triangle. Now, from the question, we have angle A, X, Y, B equal to angle C, B, Y. So let us indicate that angle using theta. That these two angles are the same. Now let us consider triangle A, X, Y. If you consider triangle A, X, Y. It is a right angled triangle. Now, we we'll first look for the hypotenuse, and the hypotenuse is the line facing the 90 degrees. So it means that X, Y is the hypotenuse of triangle A, X, Y, since this line is facing the 90 degrees. Now, we are going to consider angle theta and find it. Why are we finding an theta? You will get to know it later. Let us move on. Here, if you consider theta, line YA is opposite to theta. So we have this as opposite. And line YX is the hypotenuse of the entire right angle triangle. So line AX will now become adjacent to this angle. So now, you can use the Sokatwa. So, the sine of the angle is so, the cosine of the angle is ka, and the tangent of the angle is twa. That's why we so ka twa. Now, this is the angle that we are considering. So if we take the tan of the angle, it will help us. Because we have opposite to the angle and then adjacent to the angle. So now let us take tan of the angle. Here we are going to have tan theta equal to the opposite is 40 divided by the adjacent that is 50. And here we are going to have tan theta equal to 4 divided by 5. Or 10 will divide by 4 and 10 will divide by 5. And theta will be equal to tan inverse of 4 divided by 5. Now let us use calculator to point that. Tan inverse of 4 divided by 5. And I hope it will give us approximately 39. Yes, we have 38 points. So here theta is equal to 38.6598. Five nine eight zero. So let's leave it here. So this is angle theta. 
Then let us write this to two significant figures. Know that the number here is 0 0.6. So we take it as 1 and add it to the 8 to become 39. So we have 39 degrees to the nearest to the nearest degree or to two significant figures. Now, theta here is the same theta here. So it means that question ii is solved. So here ii, angle A, B, C equal to 39 degrees. Now, we are left with finding the side X, C. How do we do that? If we consider triangle ABC, it is a right angled triangle because you have 90 degrees at A. Now, it means that line BC is the hypotenuse of triangle ABC. So, if we consider angle theta, angle theta is facing this side. So line A, C becomes the opposite to the angle, and line B, A becomes adjacent. So let's draw it here. We have here as 90 B. C, A. Now, A, C is equal to 50 millimeters. That is A, X plus X, C. So, let us represent X, C by J. Small letter J. So, here, this will be 50 plus J. Now, let us go to A, B. AB is AY plus YB. So 40 plus 50 will give us 90. So we have 90 millimeters. Let me put this in bracket and bring the millimeters. Wow. And this is angle theta. Now, let us take our SOCATWA and see which of them will help us. If you take the sign of the angle, so opposite over hypotenuse, we don't have the hypotenuse. If you take the ka, the cosine, that is adjacent divided by hypotenuse, we have the adjacent, but we don't have the hypotenuse. So here to the tangent or how pass, because we have the opposite and the adjacent. Remember, here is the hypotenuse, since it is the side facing the 90 degrees. So we are going to take tan theta equal to opposite 50 plus g divided by 90. Now, are you going to use theta equal to 39 degrees here? No. It is waste of time. Check here. Tan theta equal to 4 divided by 5. So, you just take this, that is tan theta, and come and put it here, 4 divided by 5 equal to 50 plus g divided by 90. And here, 90 will come and multiply this. We have 4 divided by 5 times 90 equal to 50 plus g. 4 divided by 5 times 90 will give us 72 equal to 50 plus g. If we take 50 from 72, that is 72 minus 50 will give us 22 equal to G. And G is equal to side XC. So here, the I side XC is equal to 22 millimeters. Now note this. Whenever you are giving geometry questions, remember that you may not be able to find the first part that you have to find. You have to go through some series of finding a solution to other parts before you come to where you were to find. If you look at the situation here, we were able to find 
the I I before we came to the I. Thank you for watching. You can follow me on my Facebook page, Maths with Vian. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Bye bye.